So today's cardinal lesson, we're going to be talking about the multi-year guaranteed annuities, or a MIGA, and say, what in the world is that? Well, we talked about this in a previous video where we talked about a, a MIGA ladder and really laid out a strategy. And what we're doing today is we're going to just really break this product down and teach people what in the world are we talking about. And then in the end of the program, we're going to actually go into the marketplace on the computer where we go to acquire these things, these MIGAs for you. Um, so, so M-Y-G-A, MIGA, it, the M and the Y are multi-year. So you can buy these things either a two-year, three-year, the most popular is five-year, all the way up to 10 years. And what it really is, is it's a time deposit with an insurance company as opposed to a bank. There are differences, but it's, it's pretty simple. You put the money there, you deposit it, you leave it there for five years, you get a much higher interest rate than the banks are paying right now, and then they pay that to you at the end of the time. So why are we talking about this today? Why is something that sounds kind of boring uh, really that interesting? Yeah, and just asking Tom Griffith earlier, I said, what percentage of the incoming clients do we have that are holding too much cash? By self-proclamation, people come walking in the door saying, oh, I know we got, we got way too much money in cash. Um, it's about 80% of the people is what, what his guess was, have what they say is too much cash. A very small percentage of people that come into us are completely the opposite. They don't have enough cash and we recommend them to put money in the bank. But 80% of the people coming into us are holding too much cash. And the reason they are is because CD rates and uh, money market rates, uh, rolling just fixed interest rates are at all time lows. I mean, that's not news to anybody. And banks on CDs are paying less than 1%, typically. If you just look at the sign, if they still have those going into the bank, they kind of took them down when they got under 1%, but some banks still have them, and they're on their website. You just go check it out. But my sense is you already know that. And if 10, 15 years ago, if you didn't buy CDs yourself, your parents and your grandparents did, um, I know that my parents and grandparents owned three-year CDs, four-year, five-year CDs, and they did that because they could get four, five, six percent interest, um, different times, three and a half percent interest. Um, I mean, it looked pretty reasonable, and there's no point in just leaving money sitting in a checking account earning almost nothing. And then they invented the money market account years and years ago, um, and those would yield you know, there was times in the early 80s, uh, you know, over 10%. So there were, there were places to earn a reasonable return on cash. Those have just been absent for years. And so people are just holding too much cash. We had a lot of people get out of the market or they're afraid to get in there in the first place or even within their IRAs and 401ks, they've turned a lot of their proceeds to cash and then they just let them sit there year after year after year. So that's the purpose behind this lesson is there's a way to get a reasonable yield somewhere around 3%. I just put that up there so that we could speak generally. I mean if you're if you're doing a just a two year MIGA where you're it's you're tying up the money for two years and then at the end of the thing you're going to get the interest. The interest rate on that is a little over 2%. If you're willing to go with one of these five-year MIGAs, um, the best we got is like 3.25 uh, guaranteed for all five years. So in a minute, we're gonna move on and we're gonna show you how you can buy several of these things in a series. Or if some people just wanna simplify it, they just buy a five-year one with like half their cash or something. Um, there's all kinds of ways to work these. So it's a time deposit with an insurance company. It's paying around 3% plus or minus. You'll see some specifics on that in a little bit. And I want to put your attention on two optional riders on most of these things. And so rider number one is a withdrawal right, where you can take 10% out of your cash value in any year of the, say, five years, it's 
every year without a penalty. So most people don't go into a five year and then pull out 10% every year. You would just have the option to do that. Or effectively you could get 50% of the money out year by year over the five years. Or, you know, there's some, some of these companies don't let you take any money out in the first year. So that doesn't start till the second year. So there's some variances on it. But it's an optional rider and you pay for that by taking a little bit out of the interest rate. And when I say a little bit, it's not a lot. But the, the insurance companies are so sensitive or the market for this is so sensitive to every little bit of that interest rate that they make this thing optional because some people don't want that. They don't want to really want to pay for it. They just as soon get the higher rate and know they can't get it any of the money till the end of the term. Second benefit is the beneficiary payout if you were to pass away during the five years or the three years or the six years or whatever length that you bought. If you didn't have this rider, your heirs would have to wait till the end of the period of time to get the money that's in the CD or in the MIGA. Um, with this rider, they would be paid out immediately without any surrender penalty. So there's two optional riders. Um, we talk about laddering for just a second. We have a client who has been a client of mine for quite a while, and she um, she's in, a, in assisted living, and she's been in there about a year, and we've done a number of things in managing her income so that we got enough money to pay the bill, but she's in the lowest level of needed assisted living, and she's in there, and she's in there for good, and so I helped her sell her house, and she was able to get a really nice um, influx of cash. Her house was paid for, um, and between the cash that she already had and the money she got for the house, she was sitting on three quarters of a million dollars, which scared the daylights out of her um, and her daughter. But I mean, it was just that's how much money they had, and we kind of agreed for them to keep two hundred fifty thousand. Uh, which could appear a little bit high, but the fact that she may have to go to a skilled nursing facility at some point here, and uh, that could all of a sudden have a large need for cash, okay? So they're keeping about a quarter of a million dollars in cash, and we'll get to that later. That left a half a million dollars. And they were wanting to, for us to invest all 500 grand because they wanted to take part in some of these returns that are going on. Just about when all this happened, the markets started having all the volatility that we've seen because it was all going around the end of last year and then they really got the money at the beginning of this year. And so when we got right down to doing something with the $500,000, First of all, they had just experienced all this decline in the market that's been going on. And I, you know, the thing is, is that actually makes it a better time for them to buy stocks. Um, still scares me taking uh, a person who's 75 years old and throwing a significant amount of their money at risk. So what we decided to do was take 250 of it and invest it and take 250 of it and put it in MIGAs. So we, we, we took the 250, we divided it by five. That's $50,000 lots. And we sold her a two year, a three year, a four year, a five year, and a six year. So she bought five different MIGAs, two years, three years, and so it's a ladder. And so every year, starting in two years, in the first quarter of the year, She's going to have $50,000 plus interest, accrued interest, uh, come and do. So she has total access to that money in the sense that every year she's going to decide, do I need the 50 grand plus interest? If I don't, she'll roll it into a five year that it, and she'll just keep doing that because odds are she's maybe never going to need this quarter of a million dollars because she's got the other money. Um, and she'll just keep rolling these into five-year annuities and just knowing that she gets a check every year. 
The other reason for doing that is the interest, as long as she doesn't take a check for it, is tax deferred. So she's not paying taxes on this interest as it goes along. And by rolling it into a new contract, she can postpone that almost forever. So what we're going to do now is we're going to shift, and Tom Griffiths is going to come into the scene. He's going to tune in, and he's going to show you and take you to the marketplace where we go to acquire these MIGAs for you. Now that we've looked at what MIGAs are, we're going to switch over and show you behind the scenes when we run these for clients what that looks like. So we're going to switch over here. So we have software where we can plug in the parameters, what state you live, how much you're going to put into or considering with the MIGA, what length of time. But what we do with a lot of our clients is a MIGA ladder where we buy a two, three, four, five year MIGA and then have those rolling. And so we're going to look at the five year first. And so what I've plugged into the software is if you're in North Carolina and you're looking to buy a five year MIGA what rates can you get this can you get i have sorted them with the highest interest rates at the top and you can see that over on the right side here so the highest rate that you can get is 3.25 percent for five years and that's guaranteed to be that for the full five years you can keep going down we have the that's with guaranteed income life and so you can see there's different companies down the list and it, it you know it goes down in the interest rates so we have American General at 3.15, Pacific Guardian at 3.15, Sentinel at 3.15. So there's lots of them kind of in that range. Um, there are some different features each of these companies offer. So some offer more liquidity than others, meaning you have more access to the money than the other companies might. And so John can speak to that a little bit. Um, the other point I will make is some of these will have different rates depending on the amount that you put in there. And so you can see like Guaranteed Income Life has different rates right here along the top. Well, it just is driven by the amount of the premium, what amount you're investing. And so, you know, you can call us, we can help you actually run it a quote specifically to what you're looking for. But this is kind of the rate we're looking at here. So John, I don't know if you want to speak to some of the liquidity features some of these have. Yeah, and I talked earlier about, first of all, the, the right to pull money out at 10% a year, every year, or we're looking at a five-year thing. A lot of them won't let you do that till after the first year. So, uh, and you have to pay for it. So it's going to cost 10%, uh, excuse me, it's going to cost a tenth of a percent about to purchase that feature. And when you do that, then you could pull out some of your principal without paying a penalty and, in, and accrued interest uh, any year you want it. Now, there's also a feature for the payout after a person passes away. So if you were to pass away during the five years and you had one of your children or all of your children named as the beneficiary and you didn't want them to have to wait till the end of the five years to collect their inheritance out of this annuity, it will actually or a fee, a small fee, or a small give back in interest rates, you can uh, just waive that provision and they will be paid out right after your death. And I, I do want to point out, so I'll just scroll to the bottom. I'll go a little slow so you can kind of see the range we're at. But the top is 3.25. Again, this is for a five-year contract. If we scroll down to the bottom, you know, we're getting into the twos now, 2.7, 2.6. These are companies that really are just not wanting to play the game of trying to get the absolute best rate. And so- They're just sitting on the sidelines they're, and they're accepting the money because all of these companies are gonna get a certain amount of money that's gonna come in just from their captive agents or people that do a lot of business with them, um, whatever. As these companies down on the bottom, they're, they're sitting on the sidelines offering 2% when you know, the, the other companies are north of three. Right. And so when we have clients coming in, we really were not going to recommend something down at the bottom of this list. We're going to stick at the very top. And there's reasons to use some of these other than, you know, vice versa. And so we can really, when we get a case, we can really look to which see which one we'd recommend. 
but it's going to be on kind of on this top section of the sheet. Well, um, one of the inconsistencies is that, that you're going to need us with the sheet is this uh, Pacific Guardian. They give you those two riders automatically. So they're 3.15% on a five year. We actually used it with the lady I spoke of earlier. We used them because it includes the 10% withdrawal feature and the payout after death. That's already included. So that 3.15, if you wanted those two riders, is actually better than the 3.25 that's above there. Right. And so now we're going to look at the four-year policies just to see what the rates look like at that time period. And so at four years, the highest is 2.9, the American General. Again, Pacific Guardian Life is right there at 2.9. Ocean View is right there at 2.9. So there's a lot of kind of right at that top range. I will show there are a lot less companies offering four-year strategies. The, the list is much shorter. The bottom of the list is in the, the one, the low ones, 1.35 at the, the small or the least. Um, one of the reasons that we, when we do those MIGA ladders that we're rolling into the five-year ladder is because there's just more options. And we foresee there always being more options at that five-year uh, time period. And so as you're rolling into something that has more options, it should be more competitive where you can get a, a good rate on an ongoing basis. Mm -hmm. If we look at a three-year option, you know, the rates come down a little bit more, 2.75. Um, again, there's more at the three-year than the four-year. So really, a lot of companies don't really want to play in that four-year range. Um, but again, we, it ranges from 2.75 at Guaranteed Income Life. Pacific Guardian Life is up near the top. Ocean View is up there too down towards the bottom where it's 1.4, 1.45 at the, the least, uh, the company's offering the least at that three-year mark. And then at the two-year one, which is when we're doing the ladder is the shortest rung of the ladder that we have, there's really not many companies offering this at all. So we have Silac and Ocean View that are offering these right now. And it's, there's a 2.15 with Silac and then 2.10 with Ocean View. And so those are kind of the five through two periods of time on there. This is just like the CSG or the Medicare report that we ran on our website for the Medicare premiums. This isn't on our website, so you would have to call us to actually get this. But we can do it. These are commodities. Is we can look to see the, for the exact same thing, who's offering the best rate, and we'll just help you get it. Yeah, in the two-year space, there's not too many companies playing. I just see two. Now, you'll never guess where the home office is of Ocean View. I mean, it's in Arizona, and I just found that kind of funny when I looked at that, when they came up with the name. Maybe they used to be where they had an ocean view, and they just moved to Arizona or something. But last time I checked, there's no ocean views in Arizona. Um, there's only two companies playing in this space, and we really, this is just, I mean, getting on a two-year term thing, getting 2.15% is actually pretty good if you look at what the banks are paying. And it serves real well with the MIGAs because if we had taken care of this lady two years ago with a MIGA ladder of two years, three years, four years, five years, six years, this would now be coming due. And if she needed the money, she'd be taking the $50,000 plus the 2.15% interest that's been sitting there accumulating, that'd be a little bit of money, not much, but something. And if she didn't need the money, she would be rolling this into a five-year contract so that at the very tail end of the deal, she would have a five-year and she'd be getting 3.25 because we'd be putting in with a different company. And so what happens with these MIGA ladders, if you buy them and then you roll the money starting in two years, three years, four years, you're going to gradually work to the yield of the five year. Now, for some of our clients, that's just too complicated. They're sitting there saying, I don't mind tying up half my money or half my cash or three quarters of my cash. Just put me in the five year with the 10% withdrawal feature and I'm good. And you just simplify the thing. We do that with a number of clients as well. One of the benefits of the ladder, especially in, 
in the scenario where interest rates are rising, which is what we're currently experiencing, is as that two-year matures, and if interest rates continue to rise, they might be able to recapture that higher interest rate that the five-year ones are offering into the future. So there is an ability to roll those into higher amounts, potentially. We don't know that for sure, but that would be a, a benefit of doing the latter strategy. Yeah. And so we, we didn't really want to show you how to operate this tool because we've considered putting it on our website, but there's too many little idiosyncrasies. I think people are better off just calling us or getting in touch with us. And if we want to do a Zoom together, we can share this on the screen and let you walk around here and we can show you all the particulars of any of these companies, their AM best ratings, all that kind of stuff. Or just have a discussion with you and then we can come up with an actual proposal of a MIGA ladder for one of the five years. Our whole reason of just letting you letting you kind of see what a marketplace there is and how these companies are playing out at the top. And we use that, you know, to our your advantage. So I'm Hans Scheil and this is Tom Griffith, CFP, and we thank you very much for listening.